Hi, it's Frank Del Rio here with Century 21 Masters, and thanks for visiting my video blog. Today's topic is, should I sell today, or should I wait a year for the prices to rise? I'm getting a number of calls from my past clients, prospects, and current clients asking me, hey Frank, I need to sell, but should I wait six months, maybe a year, for the prices to come back where they once were? This is such an important question especially for those considering making a move who have to make plans for retirement, for job transfers, etc. And the best way to answer this is to look at our history in real estate. More specifically, let's talk about how the lending market has changed for a minute. Between 2001 and 2006, buyers could get into homes with little to no money down, with bad credit, actually misstate the money they earned per month, and that would qualify them for a loan. It's pretty wild when you think about it, right? Then, back in February of 2007, the whole mortgage meltdown occurred. Do you remember that? Lending institutions cut out these crazy loan programs, realizing that homes were overvalued, seller had, had no equity, they couldn't afford to pay their payment, they were losing their properties, and many people today are still losing their houses. This changed everything. The loans we get today, are what they call full documentation. It means they're checking your salary, your tax returns, your credit, your references, and so on. Therefore, the buyers that get homes today must be able to actually afford the home, where before it didn't matter. So, so you can see that the only way for prices to go back up is if the buyers make more money. It's as simple as that. So think about this. What do you think the chances are of people getting a, a 15 to 20% pay raise in the next year or so? When you really think about it, it's more like 3 to 5%, isn't it? Once our market is completely at the bottom in terms of prices, we can expect for home prices to raise somewhere in the 3 to 5% range, which is about the same as the average buyer's salary going up. Here's an example of a client I talked to last week. They have a property, today it's roughly worth about $450,000, and they would like to get $600,000 for the property, which is where it once was in, back in the boom market about six, seven years ago, and they feel that if they wait a year, the prices will go back up to where they once were. Now, we already know that the only way for home prices to increase in the foreseeable future is for wages to go up. So let's take a look at the numbers and what that would look like at a 5% appreciation, considering that $450,000 was we were at the bottom of the marketplace. At 5% appreciation per year on $450,000, it's going to take roughly six years. By 2017, the client who wants $600,000 has to wait until 2017 to get that price. So if you're planning on making a move in the near future, maybe a year or so, it might make financial sense to start looking at your options today. I hope this information was helpful, and if you'd like to set up a time, maybe have a conversation about your situation and plans for selling in the near future, you can reach me on my private number, 626-780-2705, or send me an email, frank at frankdelriocells.com. As always, thank you so much for watching. I look forward to speaking with you. Have a great day.